I'm Megan Van Petten, founder of the Esports Trade Association and host of the Esports Connected podcast. I am inspired to share key tidbits from several interviews conducted with industry influencers over the three-day span of our Esports Next conference. To be able to celebrate and learn from those who are shaping our community is such an honor. Press play and let the waterfall of knowledge wash over you as it did for me. Enjoy. Welcome back. I'm here with the amazing MVP. MVP, let's let's recap. I mean, last night you came on, we talked a little bit about the day and the craziness of the first day and the fun of the first day. Right. But let's recap today so far. Yes. And also what we're looking towards. Let's just re- let's do a recap first. Okay. So am I looking here? Is this what everybody Please. sees? Okay. All right. I, it's hard not to look at you, you know? Okay. So, um... Wasn't wasn't the breakfast amazing? I'd like to just start from the beginning. Stu, you mean from the networking ability or the food or both? Both. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my god. I mean, I'll be honest. I'm a big boy. Uh, a banana and a muffin doesn't really get me done. I know. But that's okay. It, there's, I'm, there's only a few of us big boys here. Yeah. So we just ate twice. Yes. Yes. Good. <laughs> Yeah, I'm really, I'm really into whole fruit mm-hmm. and you know healthy snacking it was good. and the croissants in the mm-hmm. bakery. I was, I was yeah. really picky about mm-hmm. what we and ordered. the healthy networking and the oh my gosh. Mm-hmm. So it was, you know, mm-hmm. there was there was networking in the house. I got to talk with Daniel from LG, just okay. learn about what they're doing. Okay, and uh, you know the UGC guys who've been really helpful here with the stream setup. And then Chris Turner was sitting with me, so we had some fun networking, a lot of good table conversations, really oh, yeah. good setup to sit around in a circle and connect. But did you get to network any, or were you doing stuff? Oh my gosh! Well, I mean, just being connected mm-hmm. and relating is mm-hmm. all. You know, it's not a marathon. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. we're all in it mm-hmm. for the for the long haul. I think. Mm-hmm. You know, okay. I mean, I don't want to speak for everyone. Sure. But it's not a one and done. It's the, it's it's right. it's a pretty cool vibe, mm-hmm. and I'm I'm telling everyone that people are like, who should I talk to? I'm like, everyone. Yeah. Who, everyone. You know, who 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 do you think? And I'm like, anyone that's next to you. You know, the whole time. So, um, I've been doing. Yeah, whoever is next to me is who I'm talking mm-hmm. to. I have right. no appointments. I have nothing scheduled. True. Okay. So. So then, after the breakfast, what were some other things that happened this morning? Panels okay. or discussions? So, oh my gosh. Let's see. Wayne Gill opened up and, okay. uh-huh. you know, did an incredible yeah. blessing yeah. on the event. I like that touch. That I did a good too. Touch. I, thought- I knew, I knew, I think you had something to do with invocation idea. Am I wrong? Well, you know, um, I just never think it hurts, mm-hmm. you know, to to lead with faith. And, mm-hmm. and I do personally, but mm-hmm. we certainly want to be sensitive to others. Sure. So we, um, you know, we kept it off of the agenda, but wanted to bless the the venue. You're, and everyone you are coming. A, you are a nonprofit. You are allowed, and you are able. And you know, it was really nice. It was, mm-hmm. you know, um, Pastor Wayne Gill is amazing, mm-hmm. and um, we're in a pandemic. We want to mm-hmm. bless everyone mm-hmm. that's walking through this door. Yeah. We, you know, if you breakfast had an extra component of health on it, mm-hmm. and. Um, you know, we care. We want to keep everyone hydrated and healthy and body, mind, and spirit. Yeah. And we need it. We need the energy. It's a long day. Yes. There's a lot of fun stuff going on and a good ending to the day, I know. But after we had two panels this morning, correct? Right. Uh, I mean, I obviously love the first one and the oh second one. But the gosh. first one, we had some really good women uh, women in esports, women in gaming panel, which Joni, I just had Joni on my show last week. We were talking about all the same stuff, but you had some amazing people. April is amazing, first of all, of course. I know. I mean, she really brings it. She never disappoints. Mm -hmm. I mean, she's a pillar of our community here in Chicago, April Welch, Mm -hmm. with IIT. Mm -hmm. It's just just great to have um, her put that panel together with the committee and the Mm -hmm. chairs, of course. But she's she's doing some great work, and um, I, I... couldn't be more proud. I mean, the panelists mm-hmm. were solid. Mm-hmm. You know, she, she did a great job. Yeah. And, I, you know, she opened the conference with, thank you 
for letting the women in esports mm. lead mm. us in to the next couple mm. of days. And I thought that was nice. Yeah. I, I was talking with Harley yesterday, mm -hmm. and I didn't realize, and maybe she doesn't want this thing, but she's not, she is not over uh, 21. I know. She is not. I know. She just graduated high school. Isn't she amazing? This last spring. She's like a prodigy. Yeah, she's and she's obviously a, 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 a military brat yeah. following around, but I didn't expect that little package to be uh, that young as well as that knowledge. First of all, <laughs> she dresses pretty cool, and then she's super knowledgeable, and then after thinking she's been doing this for 15 years, she also is 18. So, right. I know. Pretty incredible. All dressed up yesterday, mm -hmm. I saw her in mm -hmm. a suit. You know, I, you would have thought she's she's yeah. a suit and tennis shoes. The she, way to go. Yeah, she's a, an enterprising young lady. Mm -hmm. So when I when I think about Harley, I think about what we had the women uh, women's panel is she was saying, and and maybe we touched a little bit on the women's panel, but like we just want to be gamers and not just we're the women or we're this race or we're this 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 tournament of women yeah. or whatever. Yeah, it's important to call out the difference, but or call out the diversity, but also not harp on it to where it's the focal point. Right. right here. You know, I thought Lewis Johnson had it right this morning, mm. um, just talking about not, oh, do we have, you know, an African-American, or do we have a woman, or do we have this, or mm. do we have that. We're being that. Mm. Just being what we can, you know, and in including mm. everyone, mm. not talking about it. Like doing. Yeah. And just, it's simple. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now, there's people, there's a live stream happening in there. Where, yes. where are people watching that right now? They're watching it from home. Uh, but like, uh, what platform are they? Maestro. Maestro. Mm -hmm. And so that's if you got a virtual ticket or something? That's or? right. Okay. Well, we didn't sell virtual tickets. Okay. You could buy a ticket. Gotcha. But because of the pandemic, mm -hmm. um, we just thought that we would offer for people mm -hmm. that couldn't make it for whatever reason, mm -hmm. that we would offer that. Yeah. And you had a panelist on the women's that was virtual. Um, exactly. wherever she was. If yeah. you were the city she was in. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So after the women's panel, we had a mental health panel. Josh Otero. I yes. just had him on the show a minute ago. Talked to him about mental health and and uh, physical health. What, what were some takeaways in that one that you think? Yeah. So I think the panel went really well. Um, I know it went over as it should. <laughs> You know, Dr. John mm -hmm. is amazing, and, you know, mental health is so important, mm -hmm. especially now. It's mm -hmm. not like all of a sudden, but it's, we have all survived something so severe and traumatic, yeah. and there is, I mean, post-traumatic stress disorder mm -hmm. is real, mm -hmm. and, um, you know, people do seek, you know, seek shelter in gaming and play, mm -hmm. and we never want to underestimate that. Mm -hmm. So it was an excellent panel. All of our panels will be available for members, mm -hmm. um, and we might even do some post-conference. Uh, um, we have some interest from, uh, we have a lot of global interest mm -hmm. in what, what we're doing here this week. Oh, okay. So we're pro very likely going to be streaming our, um, our panels through the year. Okay. Okay. Like recaps of the panels. Exactly. And, okay. Yeah. Why not? Yeah, exactly. They're good panels. There's a lot of lot of interest. A lot of really just. I mean, even from Lewis and him saying, "If you want to be a presenter, come talk to me." Like, uh, yes, I'd love to take sit down. I'll, you talk for an hour. I'll take notes. I mean, my biggest thing and thing I want to get I mean, for you in the podcast, like it's the like we get how to present, but researching is what I really want to get under my belt. Is like understanding and finding and how do you really oh, yeah. how do you really go and uh, stalk someone for the past 20 years so you can have little tidbits to talk about I think that's something I need to work on I mean who doesn't if you watch Lewis mm -hmm. I mean he's you know the best of the best right mm -hmm. and you can see he's really concentrated yeah. he's really yeah. focused he's really present he has his notepad he's walking around mm -hmm. with Mm -hmm. He doesn't. He doesn't not write anything down. You can't mm -hmm. tell mm -hmm. that he's got his notes right there. But um, his his advice is um, be prepared. Yeah. So. And, and you really can't prepare enough. Like no, every time I not. sit down yeah. for any show, I just I want like ten more minutes of studying. Yeah. 
Yeah. Just every time. Yeah. Always learning. Always learning. I agree. What are some big highlights today before the happy hour, of course, which is later on what, what's it called? The wit? Oh, is that like above I us or something? I have the biggest surprise for tomorrow. Oh, oh, tomorrow now. Okay. I have a huge, well, we, Esports Trade Association, has the biggest announcement at 9 a.m. We're tomorrow. all getting puppies. <laughs> no? You're going to be very happy. Check on your here. seat for a puppy, everybody. Yes. I can't Ready let car. the cat out of the bag. <gasps> We're getting cats. Okay, so you heard it here live on the Esports Connect podcast. There is some special announcement happening tomorrow mm-hmm. that's about puppies, I hope. If not, <laughs> something better, I guess. It's something better puppies than puppies. What do you need? I mean, you just got a puppy. Me? I, I have a puppy. I have a puppy. A puppy shopping. We were looking for puppies, yes. Okay, well, you got to wait because you know, your puppy will find you. It's, you know, they're family, right? <laughs> this is true. The, my, my wife spends a lot of time on Pinterest and puppy websites. Um, Maybe, I don't know, Pinteresting to make puppies look good. I don't know. Yeah. That's fine. Uh, the last thing <clears throat> today. Last but not last. Last but not last. What are you looking forward to today? Besides happy hour. And oh, my tomorrow. gosh. Well, the sessions are amazing. Mm-hmm. Um, you know my favorite thing is the elevator pitch and, like, the world. That one's going to be so exciting. Oh, my God. That's going to be so exciting. So we are th- – that quick pitch was just <laughs> – such that a cool story last night. last night. Yeah. Um, I think we have 10 panelists or 10 finalists uh-huh. for the pitch. We have an incredible group of judges. Yeah. This elevator pitch is getting a lot of hype. Mm. And our, you know, our they're really they're really bringing mm-hmm. it. Sharon Gill uh, really coached everyone up. Mm. That is without a doubt exciting mm-hmm. um it always is i'm also really excited to hear from the surge team mm. um i just think scott greenberg is a genius mm. we're going to the wit he owns it oh, okay he designed is, is that it like around here yes yeah, it's, it's just a famous spot in chicago okay. okay and um it's one of the most beautiful rooftop bars you're ever gonna see and i said scott what was your inspiration? I mean, how did you create the Wit Rooftop? It's so famous. Mm-hmm. And he said, well, this is what I did. I built a bar, and I put a hotel under it. Mm-hmm. Sure, sure. Just to give you an idea yeah. of his genius, yeah. around the corner is another one of his incredible hotels, mm. and he, where I want to have an event um, next time we're in Chicago is my favorite restaurant called Einstein's. The concept is Albert Einstein. Okay. And it is one of the most beautiful places. You know, ever go to a place and you just want to sit down and you want to stay? He mm-hmm. recreated Here. what I'm... I agree. He recreated Einstein's library into a restaurant what? bar. What? Seriously. I got to see this. It's four layers of space. Okay. So it's okay. like you can, you can be on the upstairs VIP layer looking down at the library of okay. Einstein, which is a bar. Okay. And then all of the like walls open up and turn onto TVs, but you can't tell that they're TVs. No, that's so cool. It's so beyond. Okay. Like if Einstein was going to have a <laughs> uh-huh. bar, uh-huh. It, like Einstein would be very proud. Mm. But tonight we're going to one of Scott's other properties. Okay. <clears throat> um, so I can't wait to see him. Mm-hmm. Um, mm. He has been a big advocate for, he's worked so hard to get Surge here. Okay. And uh, it's going to be an incredible facility. Okay. He's a you know world famous uh, developer for hotels, mm-hmm. and it's going to be off the charts. Well, I was excited about the college esports panel, but this this is actually taking a pretty high priority here. What you've just explained. I know. Don't uh, steal that interview. From oh, me. Okay. <laughs> Woo. Woo. Oh. We're like competing now. Yeah, I think you'll get it. <laughs> you, you're run, you're running on like probably two hours of sleep this week. You know, I've slept pretty well. Mm. I have no complaints. Um, I've got the home field advantage here. Sure. You know, I live two blocks right away. Yep. So by design, this has really worked. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I'm i so grateful to live here mm-hmm. and bring people from coast to coast. Yeah. It's just, it's, it's been a beautiful, it, I, I don't think we've had any complaints. I understand 
a lot of our membership isn't in Chicago yet. Yeah. But with Surge and everything happening, it's coming. Awesome. Okay, Esports Trade Association, Esports Next Conference, Beyond the Game. We are in day two. We'll be coming back with some more amazing panelists and podcast information and interviews the rest of the day, tomorrow, and all sorts of really cool stuff you can check out at esportsta.org. Dot org? Esportsta.org. Hmm. It's an organization, 51C6. Check it out. Thank you, guys. We'll be back later. See ya. See ya.